Now, we also have this thing called the square root method. All right, so if u is an algebraic expression, okay, so that means just an expression without it, so that means without an equal sign. So we just have an expression, algebraic means that there's a number and a letter in it. And d is a positive real number, then u squared equals d has exactly two solutions, okay? So if u squared equals d, then we can take the square root of both sides and get that u is equal to plus or minus the square root of d. So we're solving for u, right? u is our algebraic expression. And what we have is the whole thing, that whole expression is being squared. Well, the way that, the way that we can quote unquote get rid of our squared term is to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so that's like how whenever we are solving for x and we have 2x equals 8. Okay, so we have 2x equals 8. And we want x by itself we would divide by two, right? We're undoing, quote unquote, undoing multiplication, which would be two X by division, okay? We've been doing that for quite a, for a hot minute. And over here, we have a squared term and the way that we undo the square is by taking the square root. Okay, and the only thing that we're going to need to account for on the other side is this plus or minus. Okay, so we have to account for the positive and the negative. Okay, so let's look here. So let's put some letters and numbers into just letters, right? So if x squared minus equals four, then we're going to take the square root of both sides. Whoops. x squared equals plus or minus the square root of four. Okay, once we take the square root of x squared, we're just left with x, okay? Our exponent and our root are the same. That gives us just x. And then we know that the square root of four is two. So really this is saying, or x equals two, x equals negative two. Okay, that's another way that we can write this answer. We say x equals plus or minus two, meaning x equals two or x can equal negative two. Okay, which makes sense because if we plugged in two for x, we would get four. But also we can plug in negative two for x squared. Right, we are, we are squaring it. So a negative times a negative would give us positive four also, okay? So let's work some that look like this, okay? So this is called the square root method, right? That kind of gives away that we're gonna be taking the square root, right? So let's take the square root of both sides. We're going to take the square root of 3x minus 2 squared. And we're going to take the square root of 16. Don't forget your plus or minus. All right. So what that just did was it, I'm going to get my colors back there we go so what this just did was left us with 3x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 okay so 3x minus 2 equals positive 4 or 3x minus 2 equals negative 4 so we have two things going on so this means that you are going to 
split. All right, so you're gonna write 3x minus two equals four. 3x minus two equals negative four, okay? Because it can equal both. So you need to add two to both sides and you get 3x equals six, divide by three, x equals two. On the other side, you're gonna add two to both sides and you get three X equals negative two divided by three X equals negative two thirds. Okay, so you get two answers, right? You take the square root of both sides and you have to remember that you can have plus or minus. Okay, and then you need to split them into the positive and to the negative and solve those simple equations. Okay, so let's do this one. Again, you're going to notice that you have something squared equals some number, so you need to do the square root method. So you're going to take the square root of both sides. plus or minus the square root of 49, okay? When we did that, we were left with 4x minus one is equal to plus or minus, the square root of 49 is seven. Then split. 4x minus one equals positive seven. 4x minus one equals negative seven. And then just solve each. So 4x equals 8 divided by 4. x equals 2. Add 1 to both sides and get 4x equals negative 6 divided by 4. So x equals negative 6 fourths. And we can simplify that to negative 3 halves. Okay. I guess you could leave that in the middle. X equals three X. All right. So here we have this page is all about square root method. You have something squared, you have an expression, which it means this part. The three X minus two part is the expression. Then you're going to take the square root of both sides, split it because you'll have plus or minus and solve, okay?